The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick, and alongside me, as usual, I have two excellent stand-up comedians. First, the 1984 Kingman County T-Ball Defensive Player of the Year <laughs> award winner, Mr. Jeremy Joseph. Yeah. Okay, that's enough. Okay. Pipe down, dick nose. <laughs> For God's sake. We just lost Bob Dole this week. Show some fucking respect, you asshole. Okay. And also the 2021, uh, what was it, funniest person in Wichita contest winner. We like to call him the wreck, Mr. Derek Alders. I gargle my balls, Scotty. No, I don't really want to do that. that. That doesn't sound like fun. Especially for you, Derek. I'm pretty sure they'd get teeth on that. <laughs> nah, Scotty's gentle. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I am pretty gentle. Uh, but not to you. Uh, but anyways, guys, welcome into another episode. Because I like it rough. <laughs> no. Uh, another episode of Laughing on the Sidelines. This is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. 90% of those jokes will be targeted towards me, and I'm okay with it. Uh, this is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and make loud noises. So if that's not your thing in the wrong place, get the fuck out of here. Thanks. Goodbye. All right. Um, we got a lot of stuff to go over. We got some sports drama. Uh, we had, uh, I got some UFC stuff to talk about. You guys are really excited about that, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Really pumped. Yeah. Okay. I remember the last time we watched UFC together. <laughs> nope. I'm not going to talk about that. Uh, but anyways, uh, we've got some uh, college football coaching changes. We've Do got. fuck? No. Is that what happened? <laughs> no. <laughs> That'd be weird. Nope. <laughs> nope. Turns out it's just such a homoerotic sport that. <laughs> We both had raging hard-ons, especially Scotty. No, <laughs> no. And he insisted on bottoming. Oh, he's more of a power bottom. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. I, I not that powerful. Right. <clears throat> um, is, is it just me or is my mic new turned up? Uh, I think it's just you. Okay. Yeah, pretty sure it's just you. I could be wrong. Yeah. Maybe I should talk louder. Yeah, you could. Okay. All right. Uh, but uh, anyways, we also got some overrated, underrated questions and preguntas. As usual, a draft in a shitty situation. I think they know the format by now, Scotty. You don't know, man. We get Let's new, surprise them. New yeah. listeners yeah. every week. They don't need to know what's coming. Fuck them. <laughs> okay. That's my <laughs> attitude towards new listeners. They can go fuck themselves. <laughs> Five episodes in, you want to stick with us? Fine. Welcome aboard. Up until then, you can kiss my fuck. <laughs> filthy shithole, you dick munchers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, but we like to start off every single episode with what happened to us over the last week. So we're going to kick it off with Derek. What? What was your week, week, man? It wasn't week. It wasn't week? No, it was all right. Uh, okay. What'd you do? Uh, I have actually made it, uh, surprisingly, two months now without getting called to HR at my <laughs> new job. <laughs> hey, that's good. Which was nice, uh, especially considering the conversation that we had yesterday and today. Uh, somebody misread something and said thought it said placenta. And I said, man, I haven't had one of them in years. <laughs> oh, God. And then uh, they were talking about prostate exams because I'm damn near 40 at this point. And they said, oh. Uh, have you went in and got yours done yet? And I said, no, nah, I did the self, uh, the self exam. <laughs> Turns out if your fingers taste okay, then you're fine. Oh, so, uh, still not an HR. So that's good. <laughs> uh, I, I had a comedy show yesterday. Yeah. How'd it go? Uh, I did very well. Good. Uh, I, the other ones, uh, they, they were there. <laughs> oh, uh, ouch. No, Kiwan was there, and uh, I like Kiwan. <laughs> Kiwan's a good dude. And uh, the out of towners, which I thought were going to be like pretty good, I was like, there was a couple that I was excited to see, and I just was like, eh, they were okay. Yeah, yeah. So just I was kind of it was kind of underwhelming. I shouldn't say that because what if some of those list some of these people listen to it? Oh yeah, but uh, that nobody listens. To this. Come <laughs> on. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. But Can no, I, it was a uh, it was fun. I uh, got to do that and. Uh, Got some Christmas shopping done. Nice. Uh, yeah. I finally found a 2022 nice Jewish men's calendar. Oh, no. So, no, you didn't. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. They make them every year. There's nice <laughs> Jewish men. There's more than 12, Scotty. Uh, there are 
hundreds of thousands of nice Jewish men. I'm sure there are. Yes. I, as far as I'm concerned, there were only 12, and I'll name them Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the others, but I, I heard those still. guys had some good news. What's up? I heard those guys had some good news. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John? Yeah. What about Ringo? Maybe. <laughs> yeah. I watched that. I watched their documentary. Did you? Uh, well, I watched the first hour and 40 minutes I was going to say, it. it's like eight hours long or some shit, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, and it's just all of them hanging around a fucking room, like playing in their last concert. Uh, I thought they were recording their, their last album, and they did it in a week. They wrote it and recorded it in a week or some shit. I wow. don't know. But that was... I can't get... I couldn't get through it. Like, <laughs> I don't mind the Beatles, but I... Even as a super fan, like like I like Eminem a lot or Tupac, I'd be like, oh fuck yeah! But then if I'm just watching Tupac figure out what he's gonna do for his last concert or whatever, I'd yeah. be like, you know, about an hour of this, uh, I think I'm done. <laughs> so <laughs> right, yeah. So I didn't get all the way through that. Mm. Yeah, but, uh, there's there's weird like these hardcore Beatles fans who are like any unseen or unheard footage or recording of them. You know, here. Here, George and Ringo smoke cigarettes. And, <laughs> oh, my God! I got to pay $2,000 for that! <laughs> so, yeah. But, yeah, and, like, going back to the comedy show, I think the nice thing about it was... Is Were seeing the Beatles s- there? Yeah. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, no <laughs> seeing, uh, seeing some of these guys that, that did come up from out of town uh, makes me feel uh, pretty good about our scene here. Yeah. yeah I, I think we're we actually have a very good scene. Yes, so, we do. Yeah, because, I mean, that... I think we could have put on just as good, if not a better, a better show with all local guys. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, and the ones that really got me to laugh were the local ones. Yeah, I noticed so. nobody asked the true talent in town, but whatever. I was getting, <laughs> I was actually getting ready to ask you, would you do a show again, Jeremy? Oh yeah, I would. If I mean, there there are certain people anyway that I would do shows for. Okay, uh, if I was asked. One of them may be in this room, and I never fucking get asked. But whatever. Um, <laughs> I got asked to be on that one. I was gonna say yeah. I I uh, I'm not gonna do stand up anytime soon, Jeremy. No shit, Scotty. <laughs> and uh, thank God. <laughs> oh come on, it would be too terrible. But no, I I, I would. <laughs> oh, well. um, I never stop writing. That's oh. the thing about me. Even though I officially, you know, we were talking. You were talking about Q on Moses, and uh, the the last show I did before my official retirement what, f- mm-hmm. four years ago, something right. like that. Um, Kiwan was on that show. I, I finished it out. It was uh, me and Megan Welch and Kiwan Moses and then uh, Eli. Uh, yeah. Why can't I think it was fucking last Graves? Name? Eli Graves, yes. Yeah. It was his show. He was putting it on. He hosted it. And then Eli and, and Megan and then me. And they made a poster for it, and they put our pictures on there. And I said at the end, let's hear it for all the other comics tonight. And, and let's hear it for Uncle Roy's Tavern. Uh, thank God they put our pictures on the posters. Otherwise, you guys would have been going, which one was Kiwan? <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. In fact, I think I said, let's hear it for your, other cu- your comedians tonight. Eli, Megan, black guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, him and, him and Felix were the uh, were the two that actually got me to laugh last night. But for the most I, part, I like you nobody very else. much. He's a, I like Felix too. I yeah. thought he was. I've only talked to him the one time, but he, I thought he was very funny. Yeah, I love both those guys. So uh, I'd be happy to do a show with those guys anytime. That's awesome. But uh, or watch MMA. It sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I did that, and uh, I don't know if uh, it might have been before we did our last episode. Did I tell you about the meth head I got to see. Uh, no. that, yeah, I, with the you, fake money. You, no, different method. Oh, which no, oh, we no. got a new one. No, oh, dude, I work on the south side. Of <laughs> okay, let's go. Uh, I was sitting there. We're looking out the window, and there's a meth head sitting here in the shopping center, and uh, he's got he's. It's about forty six degrees outside, mm. and uh, he's got his shirt off, and all of a sudden he just starts doing fucking push ups <laughs> and flexing his muscles at cars that are driving by. <laughs> Because you know how much a 90-pound meth head is usually just totally fucking ripped. Mm-hmm, right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So he's flexing his muscles and doing push-ups, and then he ends up fucking uh, starting to put all his clothes back on. I watched the guy put on about four coats. Oh, my and, God. And about five shirts. And then a, the last coat he tried to put on probably should have been one of his first ones. It was a like a woman's, a women's like purple sweater oh, jacket. Nice. Mm-hmm. Uh, no fucking way. <laughs> but it was entertaining as fuck because he'd sit there and he'd like, start and then he'd twirl that thing around like a goddamn matador <laughs> and then fucking 
he'd stop and he'd kind of look around and then he'd fucking start doing some push-ups and then he'd fucking start. No, 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 no. Yeah, he finally gave it. Then he just disappeared. I didn't see him walk off. He just, in a fucking <laughs> meth magic trick, just oh, and fucking David Copperfielded the fuck out of the shopping center, never to be heard from again. Oh, wow. So basically he was trying, to, he was exercising so he could burn off a little calories <laughs> to try and fit into those coats. <laughs> that last last second. Yeah. yeah. Naturally. Yeah, uh, the, I, I did count 12 push-ups, which ironically is exactly... 12 more than I can do. <laughs> yeah. Right. So. Wow. Uh, that was your week? Yeah. Awesome. All right. Uh, we have, we have a, or we had a big, big week uh, for us as a show. Um, they're, they're starting to send out, I talked a little bit about it last week. They're starting to send out all these people that are on Spotify. Like this is your number one podcast that you listen to. Well, yeah. if you're, uh, if you're a content provider, they send you a different one. And uh, Spotify sent me a pretty cool thing about all of the new things, new accomplishments that we've had over this last uh, this last shitty year of 2021. And uh, we are now in 55 countries, so a total of 55 countries listen to this show. Fucking crazy. Uh, another thing is is that we were on the uh, Spotify top 50. We were number 45 there for a little bit. Huh. That's okay. Yeah, okay. that's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. Fine. We oh, wouldn't have been be, on Casey Casey's list. Be excited. List. I, like, the fact that we're that low pisses me off. Yeah, we need to... Fuck you, new people. Come on. Jeez. Should have been here sooner, shitbags. We need top five numbers this next year, kids. God. Oh, I did make a purchase, by the way. Oh, what'd you purchase? I bought an Oculus. What's that? Is that well, the, the VR, VR thing? VR, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, I bought that thing. Then why are you here? <laughs> I was going right? to say. Well, I'm, I'm, saying, those I'm actually bad ass. I'm actually in virtual reality right now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> is that what it is? I'm deleting this app. <laughs> this is fucking I'm, horseshit. I'm an NPC. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. yeah. Absolutely. Nice. <laughs> oh Lord. Yeah. Um, I, I actually, I, if I can oh. just update the app, when, <laughs> <laughs> if I can update the app and just delete Scotty. <laughs> And oh then, yeah. yeah, and then we'll just and then replace him with I don't know anybody uh, a horse <laughs> yeah a okay. horse or yeah or a, a blow up doll with yeah. a horse head yeah mm-hmm. yeah or some ham mm-hmm. oh man yeah the good old ham mm-hmm. uh, the other thing that I did was is I decided to go live on uh, on TikTok uh, on Friday night Woo! and. I got to Jesus. I got to hang out with a really good dude, really good friend of the show. Uh, eventually, we will have him. <laughs> I on. don't like him. Yeah, so I don't. Fine. <laughs> I don't even know him. I've never met him. You no. won't let me fucking be on when he's on. He didn't want to talk to you. I know. Okay, uh, but uh, Justin Danger Nunley, uh, very very popular TikToker. Um, he kind of reached out uh, to us, and and I'm I'm gonna give him a plug. He, right now, he's got a GoFundMe for uh, us. No, <laughs> donate to us. <laughs> no, he's got a he's got a really awesome uh, cause. He's got he's they're trying to raise. I think their goal is uh, fifty thousand dollars in um, in funds to be able to provide children that are not going to have a good Christmas. What uh, are they so, middle class? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> they can have my used toilet paper. Oh, if you can't awful. afford a Ferrari, fuck yourself. That's where I'm at in life. <laughs> Uh, but no, his uh, GoFundMe uh, is uh, a link that is now in our uh, t- on our TikTok bio and also in Justin underscore Danger underscore Nunnally's. So if you get a if you get a chance and you can uh, help out, please do so. That's going to a good cause. And then the last thing we have fucking uh, eight nieces and nephews all in one family to fucking buy for. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think God. I think we need that money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but anyways, last thing was, was, uh, the, uh, we got a lot of truckers comment on our, uh, TikTok post. Yeah. Apparently I'm not very popular. No, (laughs) apparently they fucking love honking the horn and they love it when people come up beside them and do this. So, oh yeah. They, they say they pull that string as fast as they fucking can and it makes their day. So if you were ever wondering, there's your answer. I'm going to do it backwards now. When I go, when I drive up next to a semi truck driver, I'm just going to do this. (laughs) <laughs> i think they'll understand do that see what they do they'll understand yeah you just gotta turn your hand <laughs> yeah there you go they pull right over I wanna, i'm gonna do that i want to see what happens they try to make you pull over yeah. at the next rest stop they honk their horn no no <laughs> if i ever have fucking children i'm gonna teach them that that's how you get to see my truck driver so honk their horn just you gotta do this yeah. spit on your hand first yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, oh. you gotta lube that. You gotta lube that string up. Oh my god, I'm totally fucking. Lick your lips while you do it, son. <laughs> god, that might be the first conversation I have with my nephew now. He's seven. I've never talked to him. Oh. If you're buying gifts for all those nephews, you should buy them in order of how cool you think they are, and like get really cool shit for the ones at the top, and the other ones just get them shit. So, yeah. so here's the deal on this. So it's. My brother-in-law and his wife, okay? Uh-huh. He has one from his previous relationship. She has one from a previous relationship. They have one together. Uh-huh. All right? Kids they, or something else? The, kids. Okay. Just make sure. They shot. have adopted two, and they're fostering three. Holy shit. In a three-bedroom house. Oh. And it's a gen... I mean, I'm being generous when I say a three-bedroom house. Like, oh it's small. Oh, God. Two bedrooms and so, a big closet. Well, and the, my big thing is, is I had asked Katie, my wife, her name's Katie Surprise. Uh, I asked her, I said, hey, uh, are we all done? She's like, yeah, we just got to get a couple things for the for the foster kids. And I was like, why? <laughs> and I'm like, they're rentals. Dude. Like, why, <laughs> oh, my God. Why are we getting them something? And she looked at me like I was an asshole, but I'm like, well, let me ask you this. Whenever you rent a car... Do you do anything to it? Do you tint the windows and put a stereo system change. in it? I better go get an oil change for this thing. <laughs> yeah. do you, you don't do that shit. You top the gas tank off with water and fucking take it back like any other respectable human it, being. This is going to be the easiest shopping you've ever had to do. What do you get foster kids? Fosters. Yeah. That's Australian <laughs> for beer. Get them a oh big fucking God. can. <laughs> so now I've got my mother-in-law calling those kids the rentals, which is fantastic. <laughs> So, yeah, that is... Uh, she hugs sure. the other kids and flips that one off. <laughs> you know, there's a reason your parents didn't want mm-hmm. you. Oh, that's terrible. Because you're fucking lame. <laughs> <laughs> you're never going to get any puss. <laughs> Loser! <laughs> Which puss? Like, All right, well, that's my week. What what happened to you there, Jeremy? Uh, not much. I'll be very honest. I, I worked this weekend... Um, fucking bragger. No kidding. They've always allowed us to go in earlier on weekends so that we get off earlier. Uh, okay. Apparently, somebody made the wonderful decision that this weekend was 4 a.m., mm. which means I have to get up at 3 a.m., which means that I'm in bed by 8, 30, 9 o'clock, <laughs> which gives me just enough time to come home, uh, eat some dinner, crush some puss, and uh, <laughs> get to bed. And I skipped one of those things you actually <laughs> save time if you eat while crushing puss sure sure just yeah, rest you just the put the plate right on her back that's exactly what i was gonna say yeah. <laughs> shit i don't even need to heat it up just the friction that i'm bringing it's like the fucking sun i'm my own microwave oven You're i like, also yeah, damn, that needs a little sauce hang on uh-huh. oh my god i also did not get called into hr i did get called a fat queer uh, <laughs> oh. which really distracts you when you're given a blow job <laughs> how was your mom tough. by the way <laughs> she's uh <laughs> angry, angry. Yeah. If, I had to, if i had to pick an emotion angry <laughs> But she wrote that on your Christmas card. <laughs> to the <Yeah>. fat queer. <laughs> oh, geez. Happy holidays, you fat queer. <laughs> it's just a picture of her and your dad and Santa hats flipping you the bird. Oh, saying, go live with Derek's my, in-laws. My dad really getting into a cross arm. Just. <laughs> Oh, man, that's good shit. (laughs) You know what they're getting me for Christmas, right? Fosters. (laughs) This is what we wish you were. Man. Other than that, not a lot. Okay, well, if you do get a chance, if you get a chance, I got into another TV show over the weekend that I want you to watch, Jeremy. Oh, God. It's called Goliath. It's on Prime. With Billy Bob Thornton as an alcoholic attorney. I have heard about it. I don't get Amazon Prime. Uh, I'll just give you my sign-in information. It's no big deal. That's Why don't right. you give everybody your sign-in information? Yeah, sure. Yeah. It's, put it out no. here. Yeah. No, absolutely not. Well, if you need it, you can just come to his house and ask him. The address is... No, one, one. shut the fuck up, you jackass. His username, Bearded Queer. <laughs> uh, as opposed to Fat Queer. That's all mine. <laughs> Uh, that's why we're friends, Jeremy. Yep. Anyways, uh, anything that, else? That's at all? a very strong term, Scotty. I don't like the fact you used it. What? Friends. Oh. It was. It was friends. Uh, anything else you did? Anything else you want to talk about? Nope. Cool. 
let's get on to the sports. We got a lot of sports to talk about. But Wait, bef- yeah, what? what? Okay, go on with it. Yeah, but before we get to the sports, we want to talk about our sponsor, man. Sure. Yeah, I don't know about you guys, but I am very well groomed down in my pubic mm-hmm. region right now. Let me tell you something, fellas. Hmm. Scotty, you like Star Wars, right? Fucking love it. You ever notice not one person in that movie is fucking Chewbacca? <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> Hairiest balls in the galaxy. That's why. Trim it up. That's right. You yodeling fucking monkey. <laughs> Jesus. But yes, our sponsor is manscaped.com. They make all kinds of excellent products to keep your pubic area uh, nice and groomed. Um, not only that, they make other products to help keep other parts of uh, your body groomed, but only for men, apparently. Isn't that right? I believe so. Okay, yeah, okay. you try and use this on a woman, it'll disintegrate. <laughs> <laughs> Lady parts will just dissolve one because of the acid. <laughs> <laughs> Turn mine into a breadstick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but no, they have... Uh, I can't eat carbs. <laughs> right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> They've got the Lawnmower 4.0 out with uh, all kinds of new features from the 3.0. Uh, it has the adjustable LED light, the docking station, removable ceramic blades. That thing is the shit. It's awesome, and it, it's not going to fucking cut you up like Edward Scissorhands down there. It's going to be nice and uh, well-groomed and, and very attractive to your significant other. Um, the other things that I, I've started using, I talk about it a little, little bit more in the last couple episodes. I've been using that ball deodorant, man, and it helps out a lot, uh, especially if you use it with that toner. Just give it a couple minutes or else it starts to sting. So, uh, but other than that, no, uh, excellent products from manscaped.com. Uh, I actually yeah. contacted them yesterday. Oh, uh, I dropped mine in the shower mm-hmm. and broke the ceramic blade. Oh no. And so I contacted them and they are going to be sending me a new one directly. Nice. A, new, a new blade, not a new trimmer, nice. but new yeah, trimmer? a new okay. replacement blade. That's awesome. Well, yeah. good. Uh, but they, they do, they have excellent products. Do check them out at manscaped.com. Com. Uh, use the promo code SIDELINES, get 20% off of your order. That helps you out, helps us out, and lets Manscaped know that we are doing these commercials the right way. And as they like to say, hold a pole, right? Right. Hold a pole, not to butt. Yep, Just nature's check. pocket to flesh rocket. <laughs> Crank the stank. Yep, all those. That's what, it's, that's what it's for. Groom that area. You uh, shave off all that hair, you may be able to get an extra coat on. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, but let's get on to the deportes, the sports, not soccer. I'm not talking about soccer, but I am going to talk a little bit about the UFC. I don't know if you guys watched the pay-per-view over the last uh, weekend on Saturday night. I watched the last two. That's all that matters. I watched the broads. Yep. Uh, I, I caught the middle of the broads, mm-hmm. and then I, uh, the Poirier guy, I, I caught him getting his ass kicked. Yeah, he you, did. You, caught a couple, you got an octagon with a couple of gashes trading <laughs> Watts in there, did you? Yeah, absolutely, I <laughs> nice. did. Yeah, a couple of hatchet wounds battling <laughs> nice. it out. Yep. It was apparently the <laughs> largest. <laughs> it was the biggest upset in UFC history was that semifinal fight. Or the the, the, the co- co-main event. Yeah, the Chips. Brots. Yeah. Um, Juliana Pena. <laughs> I don't know if that's the biggest upset. What about that Holly Holm over Ronda Rousey? That was a big no, one. No, it wasn't near as big as this. It, uh, this was, really? Uh, yeah. I think Holly Holm was a bigger one. Amanda Nunes is the most dominant um female athlete since ronda rousey and yeah. and she i believe even fought ronda rousey and beat the shit out of her too i believe they're going by the vegas odds or yeah whatever. vegas odds it was she was a minus 1100 underdog so that uh, translation that means if you bet on juliana for or um for a bet a hundred dollars you would have won eleven hundred dollars you know what impressed me is that they were able to get all the mud out of the ring Mm-hmm. In order for the guys to fight, <laughs> that's those, impressive. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because those chicks were mud wrestling like crazy. Shit, yeah, they were. Yeah, that's all they're good for. Right, <laughs> right. Um, and then cream play. corn wrestling. <laughs> the fuck are you talking about? That's just what, weird. What was that? Was that old school? I can't remember. They did. Uh, old school was KY Jelly. That's right. What the fuck is cream corn wrestling? I just remember that line. <laughs> Cream corn wrestling. I'm good with movies, and I don't even remember that. Oh, I yeah. remember the KY jelly in the old school, but uh, but I don't I don't remember the cream corn. Where the fuck would that come from? Well, hang on, I'm gonna find it. Just Google it right here. It came from. No, it wasn't from Black Dynamite. What the hell is that from? <laughs> what the fuck is Black Dynamite? Uh, hey, you gotta get you gotta get your culture up. <laughs> okay, strip tease. Was it really? Yeah. Oh, of course yeah. it would be. Oh, with Demi Moore? Yeah. Oh. Cream corn rustling. Yep. 
Okay, my God. That's going to get in some places you can't wash out. (laughs) (laughs) Thank Uh, God for that acid. Yeah. (laughs) Um, But, yeah, uh, moving on uh, out of the UFC, we're going to move on to some uh, college football news. Uh, The University of Oklahoma has uh, has hired their new head coach. Mm -hmm. Uh, We talked last week how – Lincoln Riley decided to go to SC, so now... Let me be the first one to congratulate you, Jeremy Joseph. Yep, Mm. that's exactly right. I think you're going to do big things down Mm -hmm. there. Yeah, you're going to do awesome things. I would turn that job (laughs) down. I hate (laughs) Oklahoma so bad. (laughs) Uh, Brent Venables, he was the defensive coordinator from Clemson. He's now going to be the new head coach. I I also dislike Brent Venables. I like Brent Venables. He was K-State's... He was a defensive coach for them on a couple of different stints, and I think... Cost him a shot at a national championship. Oh, that's too bad. Huh? Um, but he's not. Venables is not going to be coaching uh, in the bowl game. Uh, Oklahoma plays Oregon, I believe. Bob Stoops mm-hmm. is coaching. Bob Stoops is going to come back and coach that game, and he's going to do it for free. Isn't he busy with the XFL? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he is kind of busy Man. with the XFL. Shit. That- I'm surprised that they can do this. Isn't he still under some NCAA violations? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Because that's why he had to leave in the first place. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, but I thought that that was kind of cool that he's doing it for no money. And maybe that's how he can do it. Maybe they can't pay him or something. Maybe. Like I don't know. <clears throat> but, um, yeah. But other than that, let's get to the fun he's, stuff, man. He's just going to sit in the fucking stands and yell shit. Uh, 100%. That's all he's going to do. Right. He's going to get on the phone and pretend like he's talking to the real coaches. Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Run it. <laughs> run the ball. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, what but, what bowl game are they in, by the way? I don't. I, the who gives a shit bowl? Yeah, oh, that, that, that one. one. Yeah. <laughs> that one. Brought to you by Planters Peanuts. I mean. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Brought and to you cream by Cream Corn. Corn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh God. Uh, but moving on to the NFL, uh, I don't mean to bring the show down, but I do every single episode. So. Uh, but in all seriousness, uh, we lost a really good person, player. Demarius Thomas passed away. Um, was found uh, found dead in his bathroom taking a shower. I don't. There's not a whole lot of details. We, they, ah, the reverse Elvis. Yeah, they're saying natural <laughs> causes. No seizures. Okay. Seizures. Yeah. He was having seizures. Well, those are natural. <clears throat> oh, okay. I mean, I'm there was no right foul now. play. There's no no no, no drugs, drug right. overdose or <laughs> right. anything like that. I like how Scotty goes. Now it's time to get to the fun stuff. Yeah, uh, Demarius, <laughs> Demarius Thomas, Thomas is died. Dead. Yeah, <laughs> I meant the NFL stuff. Sure, uh, and, yeah. and the, we'll start with the real fun stuff. He was yeah. a, he was an excellent human being. I, I haven't heard anybody say anything bad about him. But then every single yeah, time, dead. that's what I'm saying. Everybody that ends up dying, you never hear somebody say some fucked up shit about them, do you? I want whatever oh. when I die, I want the first person to speak at my funeral call me a fat asshole. Okay, I'll do that. You're not invited to the funeral. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Well, if yeah. anything's going to piss you off, it's going to be me being at your funeral anyway. I Everybody, will haunt the fuck. I'm going to be busy haunting the fuck out of you. <laughs> Everybody seems to badmouth that Hitler fella. <laughs> he died. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, nobody looks back on him fondly. Well, no, well some, some, people, some people do. Yeah. <laughs> um, what a great guy. I mean, God. Yeah. But they did a cool tribute, which I thought was really neat. Um, the Denver Broncos lined up with, uh, with 10 guys missing in the X spot, which is where... Demarius Thomas would end up being. Uh, they took a delay of game penalty, and the Detroit. <laughs> I was going to say, were they penalized for it? I'd like to see that. <laughs> yeah, not enough guys in the line of scrimmage. No, that, no, <laughs> no. I get it. Yeah. Delay of game. Yeah, delay of game. Fascinating. And then, and then the Detroit Lions declined the penalty, which I thought was that, that's cool that they they do that. But boy, if they should have took anything they can get. But mm-hmm. that's exactly what I was getting ready to say. I don't know. Maybe they should have taken that five yard penalty. But uh, yeah, <laughs> what if the coach was just <laughs> on the sideline? No, one more guy. <laughs> we only got ten out of fucking time and call time out. <laughs> I'd like to see that. Yeah, fucking Vic Fangio over there just losing his shit. Yep, <laughs> <laughs> not knowing what the fuck's going on. Hey, <laughs> janking off his headset. Uh, you dumb sons of bitches. <laughs> Uh, the Carolina Panthers have now lost 11 straight games with Cam Newton being the starting quarterback. That can't be true. That is totally true. The last uh, couple of games that he was in Carolina before he left, they lost those two. Uh Uh-huh, but then he came back and won one. But he didn't start the game, He didn't start the game. The starting quarterback was somebody else. Yeah, and then he came in later and won the game. Yep. (sighs) Whatever. Yeah, so... Whew, maybe I feel me. bad for the guy. I, I like Cam Newton. I don't. I'm not a big fan I, of, of how he acts off the field when no. during press conferences. 
I like him. Or how he dresses. Uh, maybe it's more that. He um, he's he kind of started some shit at one time at a concert for lead foot thrombosis when I was, <laughs> when I was managing him. <laughs> and it really got into an ugly scene backstage. <laughs> he wanted backstage passes and they're like, No, we don't know who you are and look at your fucking hair. It was it was a bad deal. Didn't that didn't uh, Titty Gout open for them? They did. They used to <laughs> Titty Gout used to go on the road with them a lot of times <laughs> until they kind of got their, their own thing started and then they started headlighting lining con concerts and uh you know it really got ugly because that's when um that's uh another band that i managed the triple p of course that's the uh, pumpkin patch python <laughs> they uh they came in and they kind of brought a whole different vibe oh, and shit. and they really they, they were different here's what they would do they would come up on stage and they would just play cds it was it was weird. They had no no music of their own. They would just sit up there and just whatever was on on their fucking CD shuffle. Yeah, that's what they would play. That's kind of like they used to take requests for a dollar, and people would give them a dollar, and they'd ask, "What's your favorite song?" And they'd say it, and they just put that dollar in the fucking jukebox. <laughs> it was it was maybe some of the laziest music I ever saw played. <laughs> well, that's great. They were a terribly lazy band, and yeah. so that that really fucked up. Uh, what was it, Titty? Titty Gout. Titty Gout. Titty Gout. Yeah, because yeah, I think they ended up going to play with the Puerto Rican Pop-Tarts. <laughs> yes, they did. And we can do great. this all day. Yeah, you can. <laughs> Probably will. Probably will. Um, so, yeah, let's see. Uh, Lamar Jackson gets injured with a low ankle sprain and lost to Cleveland. We are not yet for sure if he's going to make the next week's game. Um, but that, We're not for sure if he's going to make it. He may not. I, I mean, he... I don't know how serious this injury is. Low ankles can be pretty serious. Yeah. They got him on a heart lung machine now. Yeah. <laughs> He's on an iron lung. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> they went old school with him. He seems to be that old school type of a player. Yeah. Uh, but no, it's not. Luckily, it's not a high ankle sprain. High ankle sprain normally have, uh, have a About slower. Four weeks, I think. Four yeah. or six weeks on a high ankle sprain. Yeah. So, so there's a possibility, and especially right now with playoff implications being so tight when it comes to the AFC, they really need him back. That guy who was putting on all those coats, he had a high ankle sprain. He sure <laughs> did. High on something. <laughs> Give me your rim shot, goddammit. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's the other thing we better point out. That that whole thing last week, there was no rehearsing whatsoever. No. That was the most perfect <laughs> fucking jinx of all time, and it was completely and totally unscripted. We couldn't have pulled that off There's if we no had a week to practice way. that. <laughs> There's no way. What's no. better, that or the sticks line? <laughs> oh, Jesus. I don't know. <laughs> if you haven't listened to the show in a long time, you don't know about the sticks. Yeah. Line. Yeah, Jeremy. Can, can I tell, yeah, tell the story? Please You're do. a way better storyteller I, than I, I brought in some information on my week <laughs> recap once about I saw a band's tour bus on stage coming back from Oklahoma one time. And I said, I'll give you guys one guess each as to who it was. And it was sticks. And Derek just goes, sticks. <laughs> I, didn't, I hadn't even brought it up before the show or anything. He just pulled that out of fucking thin air. Ugh. I'm guessing he follows sticks on Facebook, and he knew that they had been in Oklahoma. Well, yeah. they were like, you're not going to believe whose car yeah. I just drove back. <laughs> Jeremy, Jeremy Joseph. Joseph. He was a finalist in a Wichita's Funniest Person contest yeah. once. He was the Kingman County T-Ball mm -hmm. Defensive Player, Player of the, the Year. year. That guy closed the show for Kiwan Moses. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh, so uh, what do you guys think that's going to happen with uh, with Baltimore? If you have Lamar Jackson, or do you are you confident in them going making a run in the playoffs, or do you think they're too un inconsistent? If Jackson's not playing, I don't see him having a chance. I don't either. I watched the game where they had the backup play, and luckily they were playing the shitty Bears. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I don't think they could have beat most any other team. Yeah, that's very true. Um, he, I thought they were going to come back and win that fucking game yesterday. The Bears? No. Oh, Cleveland. Oh, Cleveland did win, or not? No, when the Ravens were playing Cleveland, you said Baltimore. Lamar Jackson. Baltimore. Uh, Baltimore. You thought Baltimore was going to come back? And win Baltimore the game. Yes. Was come back and win. Because um, they got that <clears throat> that fucking. They were down by two, right? And yeah. they got the uh, onside kick. Yeah, that was that was uh, that was Chicago. That was a Chicago game. You're thinking of? They got the onside kick. No. I'm not. Am I messing it up? Maybe. Another one that uh, you don't have I, on here. Uh, Bruce Arian said he's unsure of uh, AB's future ABs, with the Bucks. Yeah, yeah. I think that 
that's not really all that surprising when you consider <laughs> how many teams that he's been puddle what, jumping what, from. What, yeah. What if Bruce Arians goes, man, turns out this guy's a real asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Shocking. Yeah, yeah Bruce. It's uh, pretty much his M.O. There's probably only one guy on that team who wants him there. That guy's mm-hmm. going to blow his head off. Uh, I, I mean, he's going to have 100%. He's got something wrong. He's going to end up killing himself. Now, what is it this time? I knew that he was out with COVID. Fake vaccine card. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So Couldn't afford a real one? Yeah. I guess, it, what was it? He didn't pay his chef, so his chef turned him in for it. Oh, wow. Yeah. And he was probably a douchebag to that chef. Oh, well, oh he yeah. didn't pay the guy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, he, one of the last times he got in trouble before he was with Tampa Bay was he he got in a fight, beat up a mover for scuffing some furniture, yeah. him and his trainer. Yeah. He, which tells me there's maybe more to that story than what they're just saying. I don't think that his trainer would have gotten involved if the mover maybe wasn't being a real fucking douchebag. Hmm. But still, you know, you can afford new furniture. You're Antonio fucking Brown. <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, the Dallas Cowboys force four turnovers in a close win over the Washington football team. Mm-hmm. Um, Heineke didn't look all that great. No, uh, he did terrible. He did terrible. He ended up actually leaving the game early. Uh, he ended up getting hurt. I don't think the game was that close. I watched it. It just kind of did there at the end. Just a bunch yeah. of fluke shit happened. Yeah, exactly. But it wasn't really a close win. It they, was like 28 to nothing at one point. They, yeah. They also keep finding scissors on on the field. That's some prison yard shit. <laughs> right? You know what I mean? <laughs> like some other guys like, oh, we're going to cut this motherfucker, but you know they check us, so I'm going to leave these out here behind the goal post. <laughs> yep. And you shank his ass. Ass. Yeah, you know who did it? Antonio Brown. Absolutely, <laughs> <Without> <laughs> yeah. he did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm still not. Uh, One of his personalities left him out there for the other personality to stab a guy. That's right. Uh, I'm still not convinced by the Cowboys. I don't think that the Dallas Cowboys are as uh, as good as a lot of people uh, make them sound to be. Uh, you've got uh, Ezekiel Elliott, not very consistent right now, not having the best games. Pollard, Pollard looks pa- good. Pollard was out this mm-hmm. last week. Um, but he looks good. I think Pollard's better than he's Zeke very, is. He's very attractive. I mean, yeah, you're right, but I don't think he I, plays good football. I don't know if he's better or if he just attracts less attention. Maybe. When he's on the field. But, yep. yeah, he seems to hit the hole faster. Yeah. There's something to be said when you get that big contract yeah. that you kind of lay up a little bit because now you want you don't want to get hurt. You've sure. got but performance bonuses. Uh, the biggest one I remember was Chris Johnson. Yeah, getting that two when he ran for two thousand yards and got a huge contract, and not even being a Tennessee fan, I'm like, oh, they just fucked themselves. He up. was a fast little fuck. He, he was like four he was two or something, super fucking fast. But yeah, as soon as they gave him that contract, that was it. Yeah, yeah. look at Eddie, Eddie Jackson for the Bears. That's it. Like once they get paid, a lot of them just don't produce anymore you're telling me that somebody shit the bed for the bears i know it doesn't happen <laughs> often. i mean an elite franchise like that yeah uh but the other one that i don't think looks very good as well and that is dak dak's not looking great so mm. I'm, I'm telling you the defense won that fucking game and uh so i'm, I'm just not convinced yet I, I think they're still probably the best team in that division totally oh, for sure but that uh, that's no that's not saying anything no but. i think they can <clears throat> i think I don't think they'll make the Super Bowl, but I th- I wouldn't be shocked to see them in the NFC Championship. No way in fucking hell. I w- they, it would not surprise me. No, they are the best team in the NF in the NFC least, and that's basically like being the best toilet bowl cleaner. That's basically no. What that's you the are. best team in the NFC North. <laughs> <It's> being <laughs> the best toilet bowl cleaner. Okay, fair enough. Uh, but uh, Chris Collinsworth and Aaron Rodgers are officially uh, Facebook official in a relationship right now. Oh, fuck. I knew that. Chris Collinsworth before. blew Aaron Rodgers that entire fucking game. I'm glad oh, I did. Just he... deep throat to hilt. He... Oh. That Joe Buck does the same shit. Every one of them. When I showed God you that clip last year damn. where the guy threw like a th- when he threw like a three-yard pass. Yeah. Uh, nobody makes that play but Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, but it was, it was... on the money. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hitting right in the tits. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> He's like nobody makes that really, dude. It's a th- I make that throw, and I'm fucking I can't throw for shit. Here's the thing, and I don't know if we've ever clarified on this to new listeners, but yes, we have a Chicago Bears helmet on our on our table or whatever. That's for Derek. I am not a Chicago Bear fan uh, at all. I, mean, I don't hate him, but 
just watching that game makes me fucking hate the Packers and Aaron Rodgers. Oh, they suck his dick so oh bad. Oh, my God. It was, it was really fucking bad. Um, but and Aaron Rodgers this season, above all others, has really shown himself to be an ass. Yeah, kind I of I mean, just a the huge field. horse's ass. Oh, and then they were just talking about what an honest and truthful guy he is. I mean, he's trying to fucking just sugarcoat all the shit he did. With yeah. He straight yeah. up fucking lied in a press conference. <laughs> yeah, and then I went mean, to a Halloween party and then put his team whole team at fucking mm-hmm. risk. Yeah. What a fucking uh, ass. What a piece of fucking shit that guy is. But, man, he can fucking play football. He's looking good on the field. At least, I mean, no, I could say that. He's but a dick. No, he's looking good enough, but I don't. Yeah, that's, that's two different things. Yeah, that game, I didn't even see the second half. I think it was the first half, and we were up, and then all of a sudden we lose. I think I'm going to storm Green Bay. <laughs> I'm not accepting the results of the, the final score of that football game. If you're going to storm Green Bay, don't do it this time of year. It's no. nasty up there. <laughs> it's really cold. You should go in summertime. I'm yeah, waiting until sure. January 6th, and that's mm. when I'm going to do it. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> The Las Vegas Raiders hold uh, a team pregame meeting on the Kansas City 50-yard line logo, and then they got their ass fucking kicked. Yeah, that's fucking dumb as shit to mm-hmm. do. Why would you do that? It, it, it was a bad decision. Look, we've all made Woo! bad decisions in our lives, things we didn't think through. Back in the year of our Lord, 2011, <laughs> I signed a band called Sandusky's Wish List. <laughs> Not realizing what they were all about. I thought, you know, I didn't follow the news, but I heard heard that name getting thrown out a lot. So I was like, that's free publicity, right? <laughs> you know, these guys must be from like Sandusky, Ohio or something. No, it turns out all their songs are about different ways they want to fuck children. <laughs> and um, oh my God. yeah, I signed a 10-year deal with them. So I had to find them work for the next 10 years, which was not easy. But you got to learn from those mistakes, right? right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you thought yeah. they were going to turn out to be like the next Regis's uterus. And yeah. just- right. And, and then... 11 years later, who do I sign on but a band called Clans Gender? And <laughs> <laughs> turns out that's not a clever nickname. They are a bunch of very racist women with penises. And, um, <laughs> oh, shit. Live and learn. Live and learn, guys. That's where it's at. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, shit. <laughs> Anyways, uh, well, how'd you think the Chiefs looked, uh, Jeremy? I think they looked damn good, but I don't know that it was necessarily them so much oh. as they are playing a team that is twice in the last four weeks they've played the Raiders, and they are just a team that is so discombobulated right now Yeah, from, from the top down. My opinion is their offense is still a little shaky, but – Whatever the Raiders, the, yeah, it no, seemed like it. No, the Chiefs, their offense still is. It, I'm not again fully convinced on the offensive side of the ball, but what the fuck happened on the defensive side of the ball? I don't care that they're playing the Raiders, I don't care it's Derek Carr. They have dominated defensively their last three they're straight games. They're getting pressure on the quarterback, which Holy helps shit. out huge. Uh, My goodness, what's his name? Melvin Ingram mm-hmm. is has been maybe the the best post start of the season pickup that any team has ever had in the history of, of all of football. <laughs> I guess that seems maybe like a high praise, but he's doing well is yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, but I got another couple of questions I wanted to ask you guys. This is going to be kind of fun. Oh God. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I want to know of the coaches that are on the hot seat, which ones are going to stay and which ones are going to get canned. Fired or stay? Okay. Oh, douchebag in Jacksonville for sure. I think he's staying. Well, I don't. Oh, so we, there, must, we can start there. You know, Urban Meyer. Urban fire, Meyer. Fired or stay? He's he's gone. There. Not only is he having problems now with ownership, but the players. There's like been a lot of uh, locker room fighting with Urban Meyer between the players and him. I don't think he's going anywhere. They signed him to a huge, a long term deal. Mm-hmm. And they're gonna have to. They're not gonna pay him for what? What they sign him for? Five years? Uh, I believe so, it was five. It may yeah. have been three. They're not gonna pay him for four years to just fucking not do anything. There's no way. I think he's gone. All right. I, I think he's gone. He's 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 rubbing 
people the wrong way for multiple things this year, and he has a shitty, shitty team. He had the number one draft pick out of uh, last year's draft. And generally, right around this time, those guys start showing improvement. Trevor Lawrence threw four interceptions, and he has thrown one touchdown, if I remember correctly, over the last, like, four games. Like, this is not only not working, this is eject your seat, get the fuck out of this situation, get rid of him. Yeah, well, but Marvin the, Jones is his number one receiver. No, <laughs> LaVisca Chenault is, if I remember correctly. That's still... But it doesn't... That's not even a name. <laughs> it is. That's one of the bands Jeremy manages. No, it, it sounds like... <laughs> LaVisca Chenault. was one of the first bands back, back, back in the early 80s. <laughs> It's, it actually sounds like a fucking Mortal Kombat character is what it sounds like to me. No, nope, banned. Okay. Yeah, total um, banned. All mm-hmm. right, fair enough. Uh, but, uh, but the, no. the problem with him, too, is then whenever he's asked a question with by the press, he says all the wrong shit. Mm-hmm. I mean, he really does not own any of the shit happening. Yeah. I, I, re- I really don't think he's, he's getting along with anybody in that entire organization, mm-hmm. including the players. He's getting into fights with, with coaches and coordinators and shit, and I just I don't think he's going to stick around. Yeah. Uh, next one, Matt Nagy. Fucking gone. Yeah, he's fired. I can't wait. Holy shit, that God. guy's fired. Uh, the, if the Chicago Bears don't fire, I'm surprised that he, he made it all the way through the season, but I, I guess they they've stuck. never fired a coach midseason. Now they say that it could change because now with two weeks left in the season, you can start interviewing head coaching candidates. Uh-huh. You used to have to wait until everything was done. Oh, nice. So now within two weeks, you can uh, you can actually interview candidates. So they may he may get let go here soon so they can start interviewing. But I'm hoping that I almost hope he doesn't because I want Ryan Pace to go with him. I don't want Ryan Pace interviewing anybody. Okay. That makes – what if they make the playoffs, though? Then you got to keep him around. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, with a mediocre record, he's not going to make the playoffs. Yeah. I think they should give him another year. One more. <laughs> he, just, just, just one more. I think – Just to piss me <laughs> off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just to see – Everything get thrown around on this podcast. Yeah. Just to see this <laughs> table get cleared. <laughs> Motherfucker, son of a shit, no bitch. Derek would, uh, I think he'd probably miss a couple of weeks in a row for that, if that happened. I think he'd get called into HR. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what had happened with him. Uh, next one. Uh, stay or fired Dan Campbell for Detroit? Oh, he's staying. They love him there. If they fired him, I would be pissed. I, I I really love that guy. Yeah, I really think he's, do. I think he's staying. Yeah, I, I think I, I think he's made the absolute best out of the shit team that he has. It, he definitely hasn't. Uh, well, let's put it this way: there's not been a single time where I looked at him and said, "Man, he's not giving everything he's fucking got to try to win a yeah. game." So, and uh, as opposed to uh, Urban Meyer, he does do and say all the right things <laughs> yeah. whenever he's asked and he owns it and you can tell his heart and soul is with this team yeah uh this next one uh fired or stay this one's kind of controversial but uh vic fangio from denver mm. they say he's he's kind of firmly on the hot seat right now i think he'll stay i think he'll stay as well but it sounds like there are rumors coming out saying, well, they, they may be thinking that they need to go in a different direction, which kind of, ooh, I don't know about that. Uh, I, think, I think Denver is sick of losing to the Chiefs. Mm-hmm. They, uh, what, what was the how Chiefs, many, the Chargers, and the Raiders. How many fucking years in a row, though, has it been? The, the Broncos have not beaten the Chiefs in like six years or I something. don't know. It's been quite a few. Yeah. So I understand that. Uh, last one, they were talking about it on the during the game, fired or stay, Mike Zimmer from Minnesota. He's gone. I think so, too. Yep. He gone. And uh, that's, that's kind of sad. They're, they're still in a position to uh, make the playoffs right now, mm-hmm. Minnesota Vikings are. So, crazy, crazy. I think that's probably what it will depend on, whether or not they make the playoffs. Sure. Sure, he's he's got every single opportunity to mm-hmm. dominate um, the North, and uh, he's not doing it on a regular basis. So I think he's gone. That's that's what I used to tell the guys in Uncle Jesse's backwash. <laughs> <laughs> I used to tell them, guys, your future is in your hands, and they just insist on jug band music. It's like what? The, it's it's the only jug band quartet 
<laughs> that I know of. And it's like, come on, play, strum a fucking guitar. <laughs> They'll never be as good as the scrow tumblers. No, no, probably not. <laughs> oh God. Uh, were there any uh, any positive things that you guys picked up from the the actual games during the week? HIV. Yeah. <laughs> COVID. Good, good job. Oh, great. Thanks, Derek. You jackass. <clears throat> uh, but anyway, yeah, thanks. <laughs> All right, moving on. We need to get to uh, some real shit or horse shit. This is going to be kind of a fun one. Uh, we are going to do real shit or horse shit. Are these players Hall of Fame players? These guys are, have not been inducted into the Hall of Fame yet, but the question is, will they? So we're going to start off with the very first one. We're going to go real shit or horse shit. Ben Roethlisberger will be a Hall of Famer. Oh, for sure. Um, yeah, he'll, there's, yeah, this yeah, is a question. Multiple Super Bowls. I don't know. Those rape charges might come out of the closet and get them. Nah, no, they, they haven't won't. yet. Ray Lewis <laughs> killed a guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> OJ no, in mean, the Hall of Fame. That's they? true. I think you're right. Yeah, I, there's no way Roethlisberger doesn't get in. Has uh, he won one or two Super Bowls? I thought it was two. two. I thought two, two as well. Okay, but he's been to multiple AFC Championship games. Yes. Yeah. If it weren't for the Patriots, he would have probably won a hell of a lot more Super Bowls. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, he won that. We won one year with Jerome Bettis, mm-hmm. and then I think he won one other one. That was the fortieth year, wasn't it, in Detroit? Because uh, that's where Bettis is from. And he's like, "Come on, guys, you need to take me home." Yeah, no, they he, don't. They won in uh, two thousand six and two thousand nine. Yeah. yeah, so there's two. Fair enough. All right, Seahawks Next. and uh, Cardinals. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah, I was pissed off of that Cardinals one. I really wanted. I did too. I wanted Kurt Warner to win that. See, and I was I wanted Hasselbeck to get one. I always liked Matt Hasselbeck because mm-hmm. I always figured he'll be back. Roethlisberger's got plenty of opportunities. Right? Turns out, nope, nope. Uh, next one, real shit or horse shit. Matt Ryan will be a Hall of Famer. Ooh. That's uh, horse shit, in my opinion. That's he doesn't come anywhere close. I don't know. He's hmm. got quite a few. Believe it or not, he's got quite a few records. Okay, but. Win loss records, not really, uh, which is something that they look at. He will be forever embossed as the biggest choke artist in the history of the Super Bowl. Was it twenty eight to three? Yeah, something mm-hmm. like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's twenty eight three. Uh, but that's go. the only time that really he's even sniffed it. Yeah, uh, he was I'm going to say horse shit. I don't think he'll get. I think it'll be right. It's. It'll that, be close. That's a close one. Yeah. That's a legitimate question. That's a le- legitimate close call whether or not he makes the Hall of Fame. Um, I'm going to – I'm the same way. I'm going to go with horse shit. I, 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 you know what? I take that back. I'm going to go that's real shit. I'm going to say that's real shit. I think, of, I think because of the way that the, the game of football has changed, I think they let him in. He's not, throwing 364 touchdowns, 169 picks. Whew. 58,871 yards. He's had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten consecutive 4,000 yard seasons. It's just these last couple of years, he's been brutal. Yeah, he's been falling off. Yeah, I mean, he had you know? 28 and 9 in 2010. And if you go look at, he had a 4,000 yard season last year. I mean, he was 17 and 11, 26 and 11, 26 and 14. So, but from 2018, I mean, he had. 35 touchdowns and seven picks. Yeah. I mean, he had Julio Jones and Roddy White on the same fucking team. Yeah, so, yeah that's, that's true. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a pretty nice uh, targets to have. Yep. Next one, real shit or horse shit, Dak Prescott will make the Hall of Fame. I'm going to say. Here goes Derek down to the hill. <laughs> oh, whatever. I'm going to say as of right now, horse shit. Okay. Uh, because he hasn't done much. He hasn't. He hasn't won a playoff game. Mm-hmm. So for right now, I'm going to say horse shit. I think if he wins a Super Bowl then or you know puts a couple of runs in the playoffs, mm-hmm. I mean, it's possible, especially with that mm-hmm. receiving core. Oh, yeah. So it's definitely possible. But based off of right now, no. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go, this is, this is going to be real shit. And I, and I think it's because of your, what you just said. The receiving core? The receiving core right now that he has, except for Amari Cooper, is young. Yeah. D- C.D. Lamb, first, I mean, second year? Yeah, I second year. And then you've now got Dalton Schultz, who's filling Jason Witten's shoes, yeah. and he's doing it fairly well. Uh, very athletic tight end. He's still got um, 
a decent backfield that can help out. I mean, for the most part, they're just not looking good right now. They're Dallas cowboying themselves, which is what I, they seem to do every single season. But unfortunately, I think he will end up being the Hall of Famer because of there's just so much youth on that team, and they're going to grow together. How about you, Jeremy? It, it's still really too early to tell. I mean, the guy's been in the league, what, five years? Okay, Jeremy, Patrick He's- Mahomes, Hall of Famer? Yeah, he's already won a Super Bowl. Okay. And an and, MVP. And an MVP. I mean, <laughs> and, and that's not too early is all I'm saying. This is just okay, predict, but, predict but he's accomplished nothing, but he's probably got another minimum 10 years in the league mm-hmm. as a starter. He's There's a lot he can still accomplish. Sure. He he has the potential okay. to be a Hall of Fame quarterback. That's, I, that's a good way of putting it. I don't know that he will, will do it. Mm-hmm. He has the... Uh, the unfortunate um, hindrance of having the worst general manager in all of football to mm-hmm. deal with him, who will just fuck over his roster at any point. True. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, next one, real shit or horse shit, Cam Newton will be a Hall of Famer. Uh, I'm going to say horse shit. Really? Yeah. I mean, he got to what, one Super Bowl and got his ass kicked. He got handed to him. Got an MVP. Yeah, he did. He <laughs> did get an MVP, and he got Rookie of the Year, but I just don't think he did enough. He spent a lot of time injured. Well, what sucks is they used to just tee off on that fucking guy and yeah. never got called for shit. I mean, they, he, that guy got his fucking ass yeah. kicked. It, it, it kind of hurt him being a running quarterback because they never looked at him as a pocket passer. He was never – they never considered it roughing the passer so much as they were tackling the runner. Right. Um. And plus, he, the one image that really stands out in in his career, what defines him, is that fumble in the Super Bowl when he didn't even go after it. Yeah, he just yeah. stood there and watched it. Whereas any real competitor would have been fucking giving up everything to get that ball. Right. Uh, I'm with you guys. I'm going. This is horseshit. He is not going to be a Hall of Famer. He may he may be on the ballot, but he's not going to get in. Last one, probably the most controversial one that I could think of, and that is real shit or horse shit, Eli Manning will be a Hall of Famer. I would normally say horse shit, but I think his last name gets him in. He did get two Super Bowls. Two Super beat, Bowl MVPs. And he, beat Tom Brady both yeah, times. Yeah, I think that'll get him in in his last name. I don't really, I've never really thought he was that great. Uh, I thought he was average. But yeah, I he think, was adequate. Yeah, but I think he'll get in. Yeah, I think he will get in as well. He he started the most consecutive starting uh, games for the Giants, if I remember right. Uh, or no, he he got benched like the game of or something like that. But he he beat Tom Brady. He beat an undefeated Bill Belichick's Patriots in the Super Bowl, and they were a wild card team. Mm-hmm. Um, and he beat Brady. Years later, yeah. uh, and won two Super Bowl rings. He won his second Super Bowl before the legend, his older brother, Peyton, did. So I, I got to give it to him. I don't like it. I, I don't think he was as great of a quarterback, but I guess when he showed up, he, he won. So anyways. I got one for you. What you got? Tony Romo. Ooh. Never won a playoff game. I don't see how you give it to him. I don't either. I don't know. I don't. I don't that's either. Tough. <laughs> I don't. I. I don't think that one's that hard. I think that's tough. I think he did great things with what he had to work with as an undrafted free agent. I mean, yeah. Where did he come out? Coastal Carolina? Or no, no. In Northern Illinois, wasn't it, or something like I that? I think that's right. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure. That's so right. Valley School, even. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, Eli Manning. Here's here's the thing. That last name, I think, hurt him. It'll get him into the Hall of Fame, maybe. But I think too much pressure was put on him because he was a Manning. Yep. Well, I think if his last name wasn't Manning and he was constantly being compared to Peyton, he would be looked at as a pretty good quarterback. Yeah. Like his brother, his older brother was so much better than he was. Yes. That that drop. And unfortunately, only had the same ultimate success: two Super Bowls. In Mm -hmm. the beginning, didn't they try to say that Eli was better than Peyton? Isn't that what the they were predicting? Yeah. Coming out of uh, college, mm-hmm. yeah, he was predicted to be better. Yeah, I never saw it. I, I always kind of thought he was a whiny bitch because mm-hmm. he didn't uh, wouldn't go to San Diego. Yeah, yep. maybe should have gone to San Diego. I, they were the overall better team for a long time. Yeah, he would have had Ladanian Tomlinson. Yes, of course he had Tiki Barber there for a while. Who's, mm-hmm. Yeah, but who's no LT? I mean, no, yeah. but he was got him two Super Bowls. Yeah. It's exactly what I was going to say. If you, yeah, I mean, you that's, have that. That you is have true. Phillip, you have Philip Rivers who. 
never won one. Yeah. And, and he got, ran it. And I think Rivers is probably better than Eli. That's was. exactly what I'm saying. Yeah. So yeah. technically, I think the Giants are maybe the better better choice for him. He lucked out by not getting Marty Schottenheimer as his coach. True. All right. Well, that is uh, real shit or horse shit. Now we get to move on to overrated or underrated. Uh, guys, we do take suggestions for these. You can uh, go to our Instagram or Twitter now. Fuck. The Twitter spelling has been corrected. What'd you do? Uh, thank you to a fan for pointing this out, but uh, our Twitter handle for two weeks was... Did you misspell at? No. <laughs> no, no, no. I misspelled sideliners pod. I spelled it Sidliners Pod. You dumb bastard. There was no E after the D. You're like, you got all the worst parts of Rain Man. Like, you're not, <laughs> you're not good at math, but you're fucking retarded. You're just yeah. socially inept. <laughs> yeah. Are you taking uh, any prescription medication? Yeah. That's how you start every conversation. Right. It's fucking obnoxious, really. So now you can... Uh, Kmart sucks. You can tweet us your suggestions for overrated or uh, underrated and the same thing with questions and preguntas. So, so now you changed it. Now it's a jello shot fungus. <laughs> <laughs> Who I managed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tweet us at Greg's tits. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of band was that, Jeremy? <laughs> what, jello shot fungus? Yeah. Oh, dude, that was Polka's first boy band. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good stuff. All right. Well, let's start with the first one. This is a fan suggestion. Uh, Deadpool84 wants to know. Overrated or underrated? Pornhub.com. That's underrated. You want to go back to the catalog, you dipshit? <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking way underrated. No kidding. They don't no. even put naked bitches in Playboy anymore. Uh, how, much, yeah. how much printer ink has this saved you, Scotty? <laughs> Honestly. Tons. Mountains of cartridges of printer ink. Cart uh, they, they actually shut down one of the cartridge worlds here. <laughs> <laughs> it's the one closest to my house. Yeah, it's, it's gone. Ironic. Uh, and the office depot. Right. Um, no, this is uh, this is underrated. This is uh, this is much better than the Playboy mags that we had when we were kids. It's a game changer. Yeah, <laughs> it is so underrated. There's, it's my hobby. For fuck's sake. <laughs> woodworking is second uh -huh. and, for, and first. <laughs> right. It's uh, yeah. It's the other kind of woodwork. <laughs> <laughs> no bullshit though. That all of the categories that you have to choose from. It used to just be. It was just that one bitch that was naked in Playboy for like a, a fucking month. Right. It yeah. was a month, monthly got, subscription. Yeah, you yeah. were stuck with the it's one bit. Right. Yeah, God, yeah you had to go find that porn mag out in the woods somewhere <laughs> <laughs> that had sticky pages. <laughs> From your dad. Uh-huh. Yep. Uh, next one. Um, overrated or underrated, calling someone buddy because you forgot their name. Hmm. No, that that is that is way overrated. What you should call them is what was that fucking name you said earlier? <laughs> I don't know. Which one? I don't know the one that we didn't even think was a real name. Oh, oh LaVisca Chenault. Yeah, yeah, that's what you call them instead of buddy. You just make up fucking sounds. Hey, come here, Ferb. Uh, it is. It is. How do you pronounce it? It's it's Farb Lincoln Shop, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey, Stimpy, come here. Yeah. <laughs> Am I pronouncing that right, Stimpy? Oh, Dan. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, Stimp. Uh, I think this is uh, underrated. I, I do this from time to time, and uh, it gets you get you out of some. Well, you're in the customer situation. service business. You kind of have exactly. to, but when you don't give a fuck about people, uh, that's true. That's true. But it's really fucking embarrassing when you walk somebody up to the cashier's cage and you go, uh, uh, what, "What was what was your they, last name again?" I don't think I spelled it right, and they just stare at you and go, "Smith." Like mm -hmm. shit, like that. I've, well, that's you put I, a Y in it. That's, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's what, what I, I did. Do. Uh, That's I, what I would always some, do. I'd be like, ah, uh, what's your name? I, I forget. How do you spell your name again? It's T J. <laughs> oh well, is it T E? I had a buddy of mine. He spelled it T E E J A Y. So yeah. I just always make sure. Yeah. He was British. It was T E A. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> How about you, Derek? He was black no. British. T E A J A I. Yeah. yeah. TJ. I'm going to say overrated. Really? Yeah, I like to call him by the wrong name, too. Or I'll do that, or I'll say, oh, forgive me, I'm so horrible with names. My name's Derek. You are yeah. something like that. Yeah, okay, yeah. that's fair. Or Chief. Yeah, yeah you Chief was be much better. <laughs> Squirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Super Chief. Mm -hmm. uh, next one. Yeah, under, under your breath, you go, hey, Major Mom, Squirt. 
What's what are you doing, buddy? Yeah, <laughs> thanks, man. Uh, next one, overrated or underrated? Custom license plates. Over fucking rated. What? They're entertaining when you're at a stoplight, man. Yeah, when they're not yours. True. Yeah. <laughs> That's way overrated. I don't want people knowing where the fuck I'm at if I'm parked. At, oh, shit. Derek's at Chili's. No, Derek's at the strip club. No, Derek doesn't like strip clubs that okay. much. Okay. Porn shop. Don't go there either. I got Pornhub, man. What the fuck do I need to go to the shop for? <laughs> Buy you a dildo for Christmas? You already got... I don't think I can get you one you don't already have. Thanks, man. Uh, I, I don't know. I, I think... Uh, yeah, I think you're over, they're overrated if you do them yourself, but they're underrated if you're parked behind one and you're re- trying to figure it out. That's always fun. Figure out what they're trying to say. I, I'm going to go underrated. I actually have one, and I didn't even ask for it. <laughs> it from before 58, <laughs> which I found, I mean, how did they know? <laughs> Goddamn. It says what? Thumb. 458, FME <laughs> space 458. Uh, and yeah. so, you know, how did they know that about me? I don't know. <laughs> how did they know I had 458 thumbs? <laughs> what was the one? They recalled all the ones that had, uh, they had F-U-X. jacks. Jack. Oh. They recorded, they read, they took all the JAP ones away. Why? They had to go, because Japs are racial slurs. So they made you, they took away. I don't think so. Well, go call <laughs> go call one that, and let's see if you come back with a samurai sword. I do neck. it all the time. I'm just ready to say, <laughs> Jeremy, does your wife hate being called that? Uh, he can't use the hard P. <laughs> <laughs> he just got a color jaw. Do you like know, jaw rule? Yeah. Do you know how much she would love for me to call her Jap instead of the shit I call her? <laughs> that would be yeah. such an upgrade. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh, all right. Um, next one. Overrated or underrated? Claiming you have plans to get out of social functions even though you definitely don't. Overrated. What? Absolutely. I just blame it on my wife. Oh. That's all I do. Ah, uh, yeah. She's She's been at me all day. I, I, I think we better just stay home. I haven't seen her in a week. I think we better just stay home. Yeah. I don't care what it is to get you out of the social situation. I think this is definitely underrated. I don't care if I have plans. I'm totally with you on my wife who had a really bad day. I don't think she feels like going out. We're going to stay home. Totally understand that. But this one is is an equal weapon to have in your arsenal. I'm going to go underrated. John Mulaney said this best. Uh, in terms of instant relief, Canceling plans is akin to heroin. <laughs> it's just you, you come up with a reason to not do something, and it's just like, oh, <laughs> thank God I don't have to go do that thing. Yeah. Um, no, I hate doing stuff. I hate people. Um, I am not ashamed or afraid to just go, yeah, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I, I don't have to come up with a reason so much as just, yeah, I don't feel like it. <laughs> okay. um, but you know i i live a million miles from everyone that mm-hmm. i know right and that's uh by design <laughs> so uh i just want to be left to fuck alone <laughs> that's that's where i'm at in life okay and so yeah i this is uh you know if i have to come up with a reason then fine so be it i'll say i have other plans and those other plans involve my couch <laughs> that's all right uh last and plus plus. yeah (laughs) crushing it whatever okay crushing Uh, it punching it whatever (laughs) Uh, nobody ever says they're punching puss no they don't uh not ever since i managed them we drove them straight into the ground (laughs) punching puss yeah that had to have been a heavy metal band um that's my favorite urban dictionary thing the jim mm -hmm. henson What's that? Where you fist them so hard, they come up off the ground and their eyes kind (laughs) of. They look like a puppet. Uh, A Muppet. A Muppet. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Last one. Overrated or underrated? Jumping out and startling people. Mm, I'm going to go overrated. Really? God damn, you're overrated all of them today. Yeah. No, I didn't get all of them, but I'm going to go overrated just because... Hey, that'll get you punched, especially if it's me. Yeah. So don't do that. And just uh, there's so much more fun ways to fuck with people. Mm-hmm. Like that's the bottom of the list. Oh, yeah, that's true. I'd rather put a sign on somebody's back than jump out and, and startle them. And putting a sign on somebody's back's juvenile. Right. Yeah. Yeah. 
Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go underrated. Uh, I think it's awesome. There are people on TikTok that have become famous because that's all their like a husband does to his wife. Stands behind a wall, jumps out and scares her, and she makes the weirdest fucking faces when she gets scared. So there's just tons of that shit on there. So I'm yeah, that's, under uh, that's what we need to do is make more people famous who aren't talented. Mm-hmm. Well, that's pretty talented if you can make your wife make the faces that she makes. Yeah, yeah you should see the faces you know I get my shit. wife to make. Uh-huh. <laughs> a lot of frowning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of... Uh, oh, boy. Uh, two of the best times I've ever seen anything like this happen. One was when I was on the tour bus with Goblin Massage. <laughs> they used to play pranks like this all the time. But the one that sticks out most in my mind, it wasn't really jumping out and scaring someone, but Derek took a water bottle once <laughs> at, our, at our old place and uh, crunched it behind <laughs> Scotty's head. <laughs> and apparently at the same time, Derek had another drink, another bottle of water and was taking a drink. And Scotty's reaction made Derek gag on his own fucking water. <laughs> and he had to run into the bathroom. Oh, yeah. I remember this. Because <laughs> he choked on it. Because Scotty had, I mean, it was literally just, and Scotty went, oh! <laughs> it was the most overreacting thing I've ever seen. Oh, so I'm going, it's underrated. All right. That's great. Uh, man. Uh, so again, if you do have any suggestions for overrated, underrated, definitely send us uh, those um, in our Twitter, Instagram, which is at laughing on the sidelines, sidelines. Uh, Check this out. What? <laughs> 180. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fucking great. Uh, and also, you can make suggestions for questions and preguntas. That's this segment we got right here. It's Jeremy's favorite favorite oh, segment. God. He loves it. Can we just go? go no. Right. Uh, but we have uh, we have the let's see. Do do do. Oh no, we don't have any uh, fan questions for today. Step it up, guys. Uh, oh let's shit. Start. Oh yeah. Uh, first question: If you could have one thing removed from history, what would it be? The internet. What? I don't have to do this fucking show anymore. Oh. <laughs> number one. Number two, you can bully people in real life like the good Lord intended. <laughs> yeah. And number three, people will go outside again. <laughs> Kids will go play. That's oh. what they need to do. No. Get the fuck out of my hair. No. So, no. yeah. No streaming services. Uh-uh. I'm, yeah, I'm, absolutely. I'm, no stream. Rent a movie. Bring Blockbuster back. Uh-huh. Okay. Tape shit on your VCR. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm going with the last three Star Wars movies. Get rid of them completely. Okay. Okay. All right. How about you, Jeremy? Buzz Aldrin's space helmet. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Just let I, him go up there fucking raw dogging. I would remove that while once he got out of the Lunar Lander. Awesome. Just to see what would happen. <laughs> he was really kind of an ass. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. What happens if you fart in one of those suits? Oh, is that like it self, a lot. Is that like uh, self-dutch oven? In? Yeah, pretty much. In fact, there's some controversial tape that they, NASA didn't care for, uh, Apollo 16, where they fed them like these uh, dehydrated fruit cube things, uh-huh. like oranges, and apparently that gave them bad gas, and they were walking around on the moon. T- ah, this gave me the worst fart. <laughs> <laughs> That's one small step for man. <laughs> One yeah. giant, I have a <laughs> I don't remember if it was Dave Scott or Jim Irwin, but one of them was just fucking, oh, man, this gave me some of the worst farts I've ever had. Yeah, that fucking, I almost totally misquoted that because of Chris Farley. That fucking, that's one small step for man, one giant, I have a dream. <laughs> Kill Whitey! Oh, oh, my God. That is one of my favorite things he's ever done in that fucking, <laughs> that scene. And that's a really underrated movie f- for what it's worth. Any Chris Farley movie is underrated. I don't think it gets the, I don't, like the Tommy Boy level uh, loves. No, that's I, fucking brilliant. In my opinion, one of the most underrated comedies out there of all time was Almost Heroes. Yeah. yeah. That was his last one. And, mm-hmm. and Matthew fuck, Perry. it's funny. It's a, it's a Christopher Guest movie, which he's known for making like these improv movies. He gets these big improv stars. Uh, Eugene Levy's in it. I'm pretty sure Christopher Guest himself is in it. Um, but yeah, there's really no script to it. They were just kind of told out there, you know, here's the basic plot and you guys go do what you fucking do. 
And they did. <laughs> and it's fucking great. The guy he played in Dirty Work with I Norm MacDonald. I never saw it. Whereas I think he plays a guy named Jimmy, and he's like, yeah. And Norm MacDonald goes, well, at least I didn't get my nose bit off by some Saigon whore. <laughs> and then Chris, God damn it. <laughs> and he's fucking missing the front half of his nose. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, of so, course, his best. No yelling on the bus. <laughs> yep, that's the best one. <laughs> Billy Madison. No, no, they didn't. <laughs> you can imagine what it'd be like if they did. <laughs> All right, uh, next one. Inappropriate emergency calls to make to nine one one. Hello, nine one one. There's a black guy by me. Oh, <laughs> those fucking people, man. Oh, that yeah. is ridiculous. That's bad. I like it now that they get taped and get fired. I do too. That's fucking fantastic. I uh, I, I actually looked one of these up because I know there have been some fucking ridiculous nine one one calls before. Mm -hmm. uh, I found one that I, I liked uh, a lot. Uh, a guy started a call with the words after escaping his apartment and running to the closest Seven Eleven. He swore that his roommates were turning into giant crabs. Uh, he was going to show the offer uh, the officers that they were currently in giant cocoons transforming. How many coats was he wearing? <laughs> <laughs> Turns out, twelve. Oh, <laughs> this guy did a lot of push-ups. <laughs> he did a lot of push-ups. But yes, he was uh, fucked up on drugs. But that's a real. Are you sure? Call. Yeah. <laughs> How can you be sure? I don't know. Just All a good right. guess. How about you? Uh, I need the police here right away. There's a man here delivering a pizza who says he is not DTF. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen plenty of movies, and these guys are always ready to fuck. What's going on? <laughs> he didn't even put his dick in the box. There's no hole in the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> this is just poor service, and he needs to be arrested for it. Right. Uh, next one. Things you shouldn't do while standing in a police lineup. Uh, Mrs. Williams, can you identify your attacker? Uh, yeah, it's the guy making the stabbing motion <laughs> <laughs> and pointing at me. <laughs> yep. Yep. Um, simple. It was me. Just say it was me. Give it away. Give it away. Give it away. Give it away now. Mm -hmm. How okay. about you, Jeremy? Uh, I learned this the hard way back when I managed the trembling mittens. Um, <laughs> The Macarena. <laughs> <laughs> Can you do the Macarena? Are you fucking kidding me? I invented the Macarena. Really? Yeah. Dare you. Do what, you want me now? To, yeah. Do you want me to do the, the music? <laughs> Nobody <laughs> wants that. <laughs> yeah. No, wait a minute. Are you going to go with the Los Del Rio or the Los Del Mar version? Mar. Oh, see, I really no. like it when the, the honky the jockeys do it. The honky jockeys the do honky it. Good jockeys do it. Yeah. yeah, for sure. That's the best cover of it. Yeah. The Tropical Dump Trucks did a, a cover of it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I managed them back in 82. Yeah. <laughs> did. Before they made it big. Right. Uh, next one. Posts you'd never see on a church's Facebook page. Stop donating much money. <laughs> <laughs> Valid. Okay. Derek. Uh, mass starts at 9 a.m. on Sunday. Be there or Jesus will kill your family. <laughs> I don't know. They might actually put that up there. <laughs> he Especially will the smite you. <laughs> <laughs> live nudes. <laughs> that's, that's more like it. Uh, live children nudes probably be more appropriate. How about you, Jeremy? Uh, this weekend we're hoping to uh, help in homeless, uh, homelessness and uh, – or no, let's let's go with in hunger for the homeless. So if you could please drop off bullets for the homeless, <laughs> <laughs> that would really help. Nine millimeters are preferable. God bless you. <laughs> Every yeah, it one. turns out they just want fucking nine millimeter ammo because it's Hard really fucking expensive right now. That's right. Uh, last one: How to blow a job interview in one sentence. Where's the glory hole in this joint? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, where's the stripper pole? I'd say it'd be, be, be done on that one. Jeremy? Uh, I think when they ask what your greatest weakness is, she just said, I just cannot resist the urge to embezzle. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ah, man. All right. Well, guys, that is our questions and preguntas uh, segment for the week. Again, uh, make your suggestions to our Twitter account, which is at Sidliners Pod, or Instagram, which is uh, at Laughing on the Sidelines. Always Facebook as well. We are still there, uh, Laughing on the Sidelines Podcast. Uh, you can do that uh, whenever you can. Uh, now, moving on, guys, we get to get to uh, y'all's favorite part of every single episode. This is what, oh, well, no, this is just the laughing on the sidelines draft. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is our laughing on the sideline draft, and um, I sound like a shitty Tim Allen when you do that. Ho ho ho! I can't do that. I can't hard. I can't. It's just it's copyrighted material. Oh yeah. Okay. (laughs) Uh, How do we do? I know I lost. I think I fucking stomped ass. Uh, yeah, you did. You did. I blew ass. Does that? Yeah. Count for anything? You All sit right. there and just be careful. You keep blowing ass, you're going to take Scotty's job. Yeah, yeah. That's true. <laughs> it's like uh, blowing over a bottle, an empty bottle there, Jeremy. Yeah, that's actually what uh, <laughs> your band, that's the jug band. <laughs> oh, He's that, the jug. That's what is that is. true? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're all just blowing into Scotty's asshole. <laughs> 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 he's really the music maker in that. Yeah. He's yeah. got to tighten and expand as it yeah. comes. <laughs> Written and produced by Scotty German. <laughs> yeah. That was uh, the. Was... Gape it, Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> I need a D minor. Clench up. <laughs> okay. Uh, so. <laughs> So because Derek won, he gets the championship picks. Uh, Jeremy gets second pick, and because I suck, I get first pick this week. And this week's draft, it is going to be our favorite uh, reality TV shows. Yeah. Okay. okay. Jeremy. Yeah. You want to guess my first pick? I don't. I don't care. You don't. Queer, queer eye for the straight guy. <laughs> no, it's not That's that one. It That's got to be it. Too many references on this show to not pick the Curse of Oak Island first. Okay. So I'm going to take that. All right. This is our favorite, not the best, our favorite. All right. Jeremy? I like that Zapruder film. <laughs> the what? The Zapruder film. What, what is it called? That's still footage of JFK getting shot. <laughs> <laughs> Back uh, into the left. Yes. That's the one. I don't know. That's hilarious. I, I, it's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it sure is. That's what I love doing when people ask me if I've seen like some really sad movie. I was like, oh, yeah, it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like, hey, Jackie, watch what I can do. <laughs> that is fucking showing off. That's what he's doing. Slapstick comedy at its finest. Mm-hmm. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's three stooges to the max right there. <laughs> he was actually going to be the fourth stooge. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, but anyways. Okay, okay. What's your real pick. Uh, I need I need some uh, context here. What defines an, a reality show? Um, a reality TV show is not a sitcom. There's no lines or anything like that in it. It's just it's real. So it's it's reality. Okay. Well, I think this counts then. Mm-hmm. Impractical Jokers. That is a good, one. a good one. Yeah. That's a really good one. I didn't even think about it. Of course you didn't, Scotty. I'm much smarter than you. This is true. All right. Dickhead, you get two. Uh, I'm going to go with Jackass. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Good call. And uh, Ink Master. Okay. You said you, you, like, were, that. you like that I one. I do like that one. I like when they do the cover ups. Yeah. They, they, they show their how good they are by doing cover ups. I think those are good episodes. All right. Jeremy, go ahead, buddy. Back to me? Yeah, man. Oh, fuck. You know what? I'm going to go with The Surreal Life. The Surreal Life? Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. All right. Which one was that one again? Remind me. That's the one where they took a bunch of B-list celebrities and just had them live together in a fucking house. Oh, uh, okay. <clears throat> uh, I don't want to go too... Vanilla Ice was in it. Yeah, I remember uh, now. They had like yeah. Vern Troyer and shit. Yeah. Yeah. You know, uh, my band Gland Sanitizer. (laughs) (laughs) They opened up for Vanilla Ice once. Okay. I got to get one because I'm 
watching it with my wife, and it's fucking awesome. Uh, and that is Hell's Kitchen. Why don't you go watch that with your wife right now? <laughs> I, I can't. Every week when we record this show, you just go up there, you watch away. Oh, Scotty, okay. you have a good time. Um, I, I just love it when Gordon Ramsay's screaming at somebody. It's always great. Uh, but in all seriousness, my favorite, realistically, my favorite show of all time, and that is Deadliest Catch. So go ahead and go there, Derek. Isn't it Jeremy again? Oh, I'm sorry, Jeremy. Uh, my my fault. That's why I write it down. Mm. Boy, I'm going to go, because I'm going to be very honest. I fucking hate reality shows. <laughs> I, I, I really fucking hate them. Um, so I don't uh, disagree with you. I'm not a big fan of them. So I think just cause it was so fucking retarded. I'm going to go with Gene Simmons, family jewels. Ooh. That show was such a fucking, it, it, it is in no way not, not scripted. Well, it is yeah. the, the most fucking scripted thing ever. But he is just such a fucking tool. Yeah, he's kind of a dick. Uh, Derek, you get two. Uh, there's one that is kind of one of my guilty pleasures that I watch. Uh, my stepmom got me stuck on it. Okay. Uh, Big Brother. Okay. All right. I like that one for some fucking reason. I started watching it about five years ago or so, and I've just been hooked on it. Okay. And... Uh, Pawn Stars. Oh, you took oh, it. Oh, fuck. You fucking asshole. Why didn't I think of that? I was waiting fuck for it to me come right back. Now. Fucking ass. I, did, I was waiting for it to come back. <laughs> Damn it. All right. Jeremy. That, that made me forget the one that I was just thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what the fuck was I just thinking of? Don't pick mine, Jeremy. I'm sure I'm not going to, Scotty. You and I don't think a lot alike. Derek and I apparently do. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. What the fuck one was I just thinking of? I don't know, Jeremy. Intervention. Okay. I like intervention. I like a train wreck. I like when they do the like the chick that fucking was huffing the air duster. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, what? And they would only let her buy like two cans at like Office Depot. Yeah. yeah. There was one guy who was such a bad alcoholic that they put him in the hospital. They told him, you have to stop drinking. He would put the fucking the foamy soap yeah. in a cup. And like mix it up with water and drink it. Oh my Jeez. god! He died before. <laughs> he, he literally did that while they were filming. He died. Oh. They didn't get a chance to send him to rehab. Uh-huh. I always hate. How do you not want to go to these places? They're always gorgeous. You don't want to go to fucking you know California with a pool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they, they always have horses. Yeah, they have five star <laughs> chefs go to yes. dinner. Yeah. Uh. No, I'd rather just no, fucking I, suck dick yeah. for eight bucks and eat a half of a Big mm-hmm. Mac that I found in a dumpster. Okay. I, I remember when we had to have that intervention with propane mousetrap. <laughs> oh, those guys were real fucked up. Okay. <laughs> I They used to huff lentil beans. <laughs> Uh, all right, so I got two in a row. Um, I'm gonna pick Forged in Fire. Okay. Fuck yeah. Uh, and then my last one, another one that I absolutely love, Life Below Zero. Dig me some Alaskan TV shows. Oh, we you should, should move there. Oh yeah. I might. That'd be a good. You know they pay people pay people to live there. You should go. I should do that then. My goodness. Jeremy Joseph. Um, I'm going to go with Hoarders. Ooh, That's a good one. Yeah. I really want them to come check out my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, nobody needs this much Christmas shit. <laughs> yeah. That's Derek, it. That's it. Last I, one. I realize it's not strewn all over the place and there's yeah. not cat shit everywhere, but do you really need this much shit? I don't know if you'll let me pick this one. Okay. The Roasts. Will you let me do those? The Comedy Central. Uh, those are scripted. Yeah. Uh, There's lines. All right. Well, I have a few that I like, but I got to go with Old Faithful. Actually, God damn, there's another one I just thought of. Old Faithful. It's that, it's that reality show where they just show the fucking geyser the whole I'm gonna time. Skip. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to actually pass on what I was actually going to take. 
Uh, I'm going to take Locked Up. Oh. Those fucking prison sh- I was going to take Cops. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah. yeah That's a good one. I had a few. I had uh, Cops. I had Hardcore Pawn. Which oh, was the Jesus. ghetto pawn star? That was that was so scripted. I loved it though. It was fucking hilarious. Hard though. knocks. The <laughs> yeah. NFL training camps. Yeah. Uh I had Hunted, which was only on for one season, but mm-hmm. that was whenever they were tra- trying to evade the FBI. Uh Storage Wars. Yeah, yeah. That's a good one. I had what the fuck? The Shark Tank. Shark Tank. Fuck. I've never watched an episode of that. Of Shark Tank? Yeah. Dude, it's great. I can't imagine it is. It's really good. And I can't really, it looks like this says ass clap, but so I don't know what that one is. <laughs> I don't think it's. <laughs> oh, I managed that. <laughs> uh, I, I could have gone a whole bunch. Uh, if it has anything to do with living in cold weather, like mountain men, um, fucking life below zero, new generation, uh, anything like that. I love Alaska, the last frontier alone is one. I watch alone is another good one. Yeah. I just actually started watching that. Yeah. Naked I love and that. Afraid. It's, it's fucking good. No, I can't do naked and afraid. There was one though. It, what about clothed and afraid? That funny. would be much better. I think if it was clothed and afraid, um, do you remember dual survivor or dual survival? I mean, no, uh, two guys surviving. Is uh, anything like Double Dragon? I remember yeah. that. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was a lot like that. Uh, I like that show a lot too. A whole bunch of those shows. I I, I love them. I'm trying to think of what the fuck that was supposed to be. It's not Ass Clap. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm pretty sure it's um, not. That's Ass like Clap. college dorms, man. Yeah, I'm pretty sure so, it's not that one. Oh uh, well. You gotta keep uh-huh. on trying to look for it. I'll go ahead. I'll keep looking. Oh, okay. I'm gonna look for it, but. All right, guys. What we'll, about that Saved by the Bell? That was a reality show, wasn't it? That was unscripted. No, you're thinking of Laguna Beach. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Flavor right. of Love was one. Um, yeah. yeah, I can't. I can't do the Bachelor. Yeah, boy. I can't do the Bachelor. I can't do the you know Survivor. I can't do any of that shit. Yeah, I can't do any of that shit either. There's that one where it was a race around the world that I thought was kind of cool, but the amazing, amazing race, amazing race. race. Yeah. But yeah. Anyways. We guys that, is, that guy, the amazing racist. Yeah. Yeah. Ari Shafir, wasn't it? it was it? <laughs> I don't know. Is it? I think it was. I don't, I don't know. know. So that is our draft for this week, guys. You can go to our Facebook page and our Twitter page. Again, like I said last week is eventually we are going to make the, the move over to uh, Twitter. Um, but yeah, so make your way over to at sideliners pod. That's the Twitter handle. Uh, but for right now, I will have them uh, on both Facebook and Twitter. So do check that out. Uh, Twitter again is at sideliners pod spelled correctly now and facebook.com is going to be at laughing on the sidelines podcast where you can use the or select the corresponding emoji of the list that you like the best so do us a favor and do that and uh, that'll determine who wins next week Uh, now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode this is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is our laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week brought to you by Fanger Bang Beer and Legos. That's right, Scotty. Uh, On December 3rd, 1979, fans came out in droves and waited outside of Riverfront Coliseum in Cincinnati, Ohio, uh, waiting for a concert for The Who. Uh, They lined up at every entrance all around the stadium, but when the time came to let people in, only two of the doors opened up. After a short waiting time, this basically made people think that uh, those would be the only doors open, and so everyone rushed to those doors, causing a stampede. By the time the people cleared out, uh, the aftermath was not good. A lot of people got trampled, leaving 11 people dead and 26 people severely injured. Now your child can recreate the magic of that moment using nothing but a little imagination and Legos. Legos! Don't get fooled again. <laughs> <laughs> the who? Yep. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. No, it was banned. The who. Oh. Okay, fair enough. You who are you. You are who the who? worst <laughs> habit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sorry. Okay, uh, so... Beef parade opened up for them. I was managing that <laughs> <laughs> Beef parade? Yeah. Uh-huh. Our uh, shitty situation of uh, the week is, would you rather... Somebody jumps out and scares you every day, once a day for a year, 
Or would you rather have to go to any social event and call people by the wrong name? Any social event you're invited to. All right. All right. For a year. We'll go with that. I'm going to go with the social event. Really? Fuck yeah. I hate people jumping out and scare. I will fucking go to jail. I'll catch a charge. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I will go to the social event. That'll be fun. And if you call people the wrong name enough, they're going to stop inviting you. You know yeah, what I mean? It's like, God, that guy, I don't want to go there. Yeah, that I guy guess. always calls me LaVisca Chenault. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to go. And I don't want that other guy that manages all those stupid bands like Beef Curtain called. I don't need him either. <laughs> he, always, he always wants his fucking bands to play at our party. <laughs> oh, shit. No, I don't want Rutabaga Twilight here. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I kind of want the somebody jumping out and scaring me every day. It'd be like a game, you know? And I and I like games. And I don't I don't scare too easily, but I scare easily enough. And I, my normal reaction isn't to... Yeah. I don't scare too easily. I crumble a water bottle and he folds. It's because I you, mean, it was girl like little <laughs> little tiny girl i was startled uh but no i think i would much rather do that i don't want to go to a social event a uh and b i don't want to keep on calling people the wrong name i think that's rude jeremy oh i would much rather people jump out and scare me because <laughs> if i'm not going to any social events which i won't be um <laughs> That means they're doing it at my house, and then legally I can shoot them. <laughs> it's going to get weird after a while calling the police. It happened again. <laughs> yeah. Listen, I, I don't know what's going on, but every goddamn day <laughs> it happened again. So, yeah, I would so much rather shoot people than go to, to any kind of social event. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, my, uh, that's my answer, too. Mm-hmm. Uh, but anyways, uh, you got anything else coming up, you guys, that you want to talk about? No, I'm doing a loony bin, but that's in February. Oh wow, that's a that's a little ways February. away. February, February, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is that not the weirdest fucking spelled word? Maybe yeah. in all of it. English Wednesday language? is there. Wednesday, yeah. yeah, yeah. December, yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, why <No>. not? <laughs> because you said it mostly. But, oh, okay, uh, that's fair. Uh, um, let's see. Oh, yeah, this weekend, uh, Dog Breath Bodega and uh, <laughs> Oprah's Golden Shower. <laughs> are, they're going to be performing out at the Butler County Com uh, Correctional Facility. Oh, nice. And uh, so... Yeah, if you want to come on out to that, uh, commit a crime. And <laughs> see if you can't get front row seats. Yeah, those prisoners, See if you though. can't start a stampede like they did in Cincinnati. <laughs> those prisoners, though, man, they're going to enjoy that. That's sure a, they That's will. a great yes, show. Yes, it is. Don't they? They make music with, like, falling fluid on bells, right? Um, well, yeah, one of them, they, they hit on trash cans and stuff, kind of like Stomp, yeah. only <laughs> they do it with their foreheads. And uh, then... Uh, Oprah Winfrey's uh, golden or just Oprah's golden shower. It could be any Oprah, not necessarily Winfrey. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, Oprah's golden shower. They there are a lot of square dance calling. Ah, gotcha. Didn't their drummer play for homeschool shooting? Yes, they did. <laughs> That's what I thought. Yes. <laughs> God damn it! It's it's really kind of a super group. Oh, really? <laughs> My goodness. There's there's members of several different bands in that. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's all that we have for today. Um, again, thank you so much for following us on our Twitter at laugh. Oh, I'm sorry, at uh, Sideliners Pod. Jesus Christ, I can't even get it out. It's not Sidliners anymore. It's not Sidliners anymore. It has now been fixed at Sideliners Pod. I'm going to be honest with you. Sidliners would be a much better podcast. Apparently, <laughs> it's harder to find us if uh, if it's Sidliners. We could so, get no. Sid Vicious to host it. We sure oh. could. That'd be good. He's and dead. Get rid of Scotty. He's dead, isn't he? He's still better than you. <laughs> okay. Get Psycho said to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah and, that's who I was talking about. Yeah. Right. And uh, again, keep sharing our TikToks. That helps us out a lot. That helps us grow. We are now coming up to almost a quarter of a million followers. That's awesome. Uh, thank you guys uh, for doing everything that you do for us. We sincerely do appreciate it. And as we always say, do us a favor and tell your friends about us if you like us. But if you don't like us... Uh, we hope you guzzle a jug of enema discharge. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah, if you don't like us, uh, tell your enemies. And until next time, stir up some fun. <laughs> until next time, uh, keep laughing, assholes. We will see you later. Take care. Bye.